Hello, Sporting Bed customers and friends, how are you? Look where I am. Euro 2012. This is a stadium which is considerably too to bright. But if you can, that's where the stadium is. I mean, a bit of a coffee, although in some cases, you know, started with a beer, even though it's uh, half past six in the morning. No, it isn't really. It's like half past ten in the morning. Still very early for beer. But um, there you are. I hope you can hear me properly. This is the uh, preview of the tournament. The all starts tonight, of course. And Russ has asked me to um, have a look at some of the uh, tips perhaps for the uh, tournament who is going to be the best goal scorer I'm sure you're all talking about uh, Van Persie I don't think it would be a Spanish guy Villa not being there uh, I don't think it would be Mario Gomez because he looks like Klose will start for Germany uh, so I'll give it to Van Persie I think it could be this could be his year I don't think it would be Cristiano Ronaldo because Portugal won't be I don't think make a big impact in the tournament but if you want, we can go uh, group by group and uh, and see if you agree with um, the, the, the teams that will go through. And uh, as usual, we can have a look at it in about a couple of weeks and uh, see if actually it all turned out as we thought it would. Group A is first. Poland, Russia, Greece and the Czech Republic. And a bit in Warsaw, this is Warsaw of course, for now well, four days three of them trying to uh, settle and uh, now that I'm settled I'm going to Gdansk uh, to see Spain and how you know, the training and talks to some of the guys and then uh, see the, uh, the Spain games as well but in the meantime I've I felt I've spoken to a bunch of Polish guys especially about three o'clock in the morning where everybody's more talkative and after I've discovered um, vodka Polish vodka Chopin unbelievable uh, and not alcoholic mom uh, anyway they are very positive about the uh, possibilities of Poland they just like uh, what the team looks like it is a very solid team it's a team with three center midfielders of defensive quality mostly in front of the back four and uh, with the Bur Borussia Dortmund guys Lewandowski especially at front this could be a team that could make an impact at least at that group because the group is potentially uh, relatively easy one of the easier ones and if anybody's gonna go with them I think Poland will actually qualify would be I don't think it's gonna be uh, the uh, Russia Russia has got not only got older since four years ago when they make an impact in the European Championships but also they've gone a little bit less hungry uh, Alexander Mostovoy talks about this Do you remember him when he was at Celta great quality but he says the two things that affect Russia one is the lack of competitiveness that I've always faced them despite the fact that they have quality Two, the big guys already got big contracts and they already had a career in Europe and there's nothing coming through not many youngsters so we're still talking about Arshavin about Sirkov Pavlyuchenko all in all it's a team that I don't trust to go far but I do trust Greece to actually make the impact because they just uh, know what they are 4-3-3 but a very defensive 4-3-3 everything will be played in 40 uh, meters they will just uh, one more from there and they're very solid in the way they go back and forth so I think Russia and Greece would be the uh, teams qualifying from that group how about group B the group of death Holland Germany Portugal and Denmark well I already suggested uh, I'm not sure what the sporting bet uh, friends would think but I, I don't like Portugal what has made Cristiano Ronaldo better is the fact that actually he plays for the team he assists he's sometimes the number nine of Real Madrid that's what's made him good he's a team player now with Portugal he all goes back two three years and actually he becomes the star of the team the captain everything has to go through him and that means all in all that you get a worse team and a worse Cristiano Ronaldo so he probably will end up last in that group because I think Denmark is going to take points from some of these guys. Denmark with uh, Christian Eriksen, which is one of the players I'm looking forward to uh, seeing uh, up close. It's uh, it's a team that probably is the best Denmark in about 20-25 years. Shame that they are in that group because of course Holland and Germany should be first and second. Perhaps Germany first and Holland second. Germany have shaken off the. Um, 
inferiority complex towards Spain. I'm saying that because Joachim Lowe in the uh, in the semi-finals of the World Cup, in the World Cup, he wasn't looking at Germany how they won up and who was uh, tense or who needed a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, a, an advice or whatever. No, no, he was looking at Spain how they won up, and at the end of the game, well, basically that reflected in the way that Germany played, far too. Um, admiration of Spain just took the best out of them I think took the sting out of Germany that's disappeared now another little clue from that game is that uh, Joachim Lowe went to Xavi Hernandez at the end of the game and said you're the best team ever you are unbelievable well you're not gonna go and try to you know not saying go tough on Spain as uh, Holland did but too much admiration is not going to so all in all better than the sound is Germany have got shaken that off. They are a better side than they were. Uh, they've got lots of um, alternatives on the bench. Perhaps Kroos. Mario Gomez looks like he will be on the bench. Uh, Mario uh, Mario uh, Gotze as well. So all in all, it's just a very very strong team, stronger than Holland, who at the back if Matisen disappears from the from the squad because of his injury, uh, it'll make the back two even weaker with Volarus or whoever whoever plays uh, next to Eitinga. This is not the strength of uh, of Holland, of course. They go forward with uh, with menace. Uh, Huntela will be on the bench as well. So one Percy will be the striker and perhaps the best striker of the tournament, or at least the best goal scorer, I think. So that's uh, Holland and Germany going to the next round. For Group C, Spain, Italy, Croatia and Republic of Ireland. I'm convinced that Spain won't get the, the nine points, first of all, but partly perhaps because they don't need it, or they may just get a draw against Italy in the first game but then just get uh, the points they need to, to qualify and Republic of Ireland I think they will actually be the second team yep you can take it somebody take it my turn. anyway uh, yeah I, th I think Republic of Ireland they just um, the less defensive that people make it to be they've got to play with two strikers not everybody does that these days and uh, McGillen and, and Duff in the wings will actually do a lot of uh, harm and and yeah, they're solid at the back. My only worry is that when they defend, they defend far too deep. If they do that too often, uh, they're just inviting teams to attack them. And I'm not sure that's the best solution. Uh, but in any case, uh, I do think they've got a little bit more in terms of nothing to lose, for instance, than, than the, the likes of um, Italy, for, certainly, with the problems they've had. And Croatia, the, 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 the tension of Croatia, the, the, the expectations are so high. Uh, considering that it's a small team and they don't, you know, don't need to produce, they don't need to to win it, you would think. But the fans are demanding that. Bilic has, uh, has uh, found the uh, press is the enemy, uh, but in fact, uh, what he's trying to do, of course, is what many other coaches have done in in the past, just to unite everybody against an enemy to try to get the best out of players. They've got lots of quality, uh, Croatia. Obviously, obviously, the same as Italy, even if they play three at the back like Juventus do, uh, it would be a, a team that will defend. Uh, I think Montolivo may lose his position in the uh, in the first 11 in favour of Mota, which suggests that yes, it would be a much more solid team. And Italy don't need to play well to, um, to actually win games. Uh, my concern is that Cassano and Balotelli, they're only played together against Russia and before that, perhaps once more time, Balotelli hasn't scored yet, so this is not the guy that freely scores yet with Italy, it may just be a little bit too early to make an impact, so if they don't have a goal scorer, then uh, it may not be enough for them. I think Republic of Ireland as second, runners up, and Spain as uh, top of the uh, table will be perhaps what goes through from that group. Uh, I can tell you as well, when we talk about later stages, I don't think Spain is going to win it, I think they will be knocked out in the semi-finals. The more you win, the less you want to win. It's, an, it's part of nature. While Holland and Germany have got that need, that urge now that Spain had two years ago or four years ago. So they may just, uh, it may just be uh, Germany in the final. But I think, uh, yeah, Spain will probably fall in the, in the semis. Uh, and the last group, Ukraine, England, France and Sweden. I think it's going to be France and England. Uh, I like a lot the Ribéry-Benzema combination with France. 
Um, even Villa is not uh, ready to play against England. I hope he is for the following two games because he is certainly quality. One of the young players that I'm looking forward to seeing uh, alongside Cruz and Strudman of uh, of uh, Holland, uh, Thiago F from Russia, uh, quality as well. Anyway, all in all, it's uh, uh, France and England. I think England. People are make it out to be like uh, they're all. You're all depressed. Cheer up! <laughs> it's a good team. It's a good team, and it's a team that will do what it's required, which is, of course, there'll be two backs of four, as everybody knows. Uh, not very uh, sophisticated in terms of uh, dynamism, but they will be very difficult to beat them. Now you need uh, England needs the talent to appear, so that when the chances get created, and they will get created. They get uh, you get the goals that actually gets you the points. One nils for England. Three of them will qualify for the next round, and then we'll see what the um, what the draw brings them. But certainly, I think they will be perhaps even top of the group. Perhaps even on top of that group. I think, as I'm saying, they will be solid, difficult to beat. They need the talent to get the quality, and. Welbeck could be one of the stars of the tournament for, for England. Oxley Chamberlain, I, th I hope he has a chance as another young player I want to see at this level. And, uh, and you know, the option of Carroll, of course, to come on later on in games, uh, or maybe even start in the first two while Rooney is, uh, is suspended. So, then after that, perhaps quarterfinals, and if they're a little bit lucky, semi finals for England, but quarterfinals minimum, I think. That's it. We've got a goal scorer in Van Persie. We've got a winner in Germany. We've got um, teams qualified for the next round. Now let's see the games. So let's see if uh, we earn in enough money to go on holidays with the betting and certainly enjoy ourselves with what will be, I think in my eyes, one of the top tournaments ever. It's so much quality. Not enough at the back. Not enough quality at the back, but lots of front. And the top teams wanting to attack Germany, Spain, Holland, France. So, let's see if we have a good time. I'm off to Gansk. Bye-bye.